Prix. All that remains now is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. And of course, a certain road race first held in 1929. There's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. We already see the lowest average speeds of the season here at the Circuit de Monaco, and they'll be even lower in the difficult conditions today. 19 corners make up this famous two-mile track, and with the rain, it'll be even harder than usual to get the critical heat into the tyres. So don't be surprised if we see a safety car at some point during today's Grand Prix. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Moore lines up on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Verstappen, Hamilton, Norris, Sainz, Stroll, Sonoda, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Gasly, Albon. Bottas, Magnussen, Joe, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, and Logan Sargent. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. After the points finished last race, let's aim to keep that momentum going. Box is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tyres and brakes. Warm the tyres and brakes throughout the lap, please. Superb parking there, mate. Let's make sure we get the edge on the surrounding drivers as the lights go out. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid is formed. Be ready with a clutch. Okay, we're monitoring some wear on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power.
drive, that's just fantastic, amazing, you deserve that race win, well done mate. That's it then for another nail-biting Monaco Grand Prix. We were on the edge of our seats the whole time, but they've come through to take a stunning victory. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? It's a heroic effort for any driver to race in conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and had the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. Our winners are heading to the podium right now. Alpha Tauri have done an exceptional job when it comes to forging new talent. And seeing them take home the victory today is a huge positive for the future of the sport. things look in the driver's table. Well, that lead at the top has somewhat shrunk today. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Let's move on to the constructors. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next.
We had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for the weekend has failed. Any redevelopments will need to be ordered from the R&D screen. Welcome along everyone to sunny Spain, specifically to the circuit de Barcelona Catalunya. So many great moments in Formula One history have been written at this very track over the years, including Michael Schumacher's first win for Ferrari back in 96. That win was in the rain. We might have better weather here today, but we're just as overjoyed to be at the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track at Catalonia, and the popular opinion in the paddock is that we never wanted the chicane in the first place. That's now been gone, the final corner is much faster, and at 2.9 miles and 14 turns, we await the Spanish Grand Prix. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Edging out Sergio Perez who lines up P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Norris, Leclerc, Hamilton, Oscar Piastri, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Moore, Albon, Magnussen, Gasly, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Ocon, Bottas, Joe, and Logan Sargent. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, we've got that relief of having points on the board finally, so let's keep that form up and get another top 10 finish today, please.
Clutch bright is good. Gearbox is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tyres and brakes. Warm the tyres and brakes throughout the lap, please. Superb parking there, mate. Let's make sure we get the edge on the surrounding drivers as the lights go out. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon...
the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? Well, confidence breeds confidence. Success breeds success. They are very much enjoying a purple patch right now. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here. how things look in the driver's table. Well, that lead at the top has somewhat shrunk today. So then, Natalie Pinkham, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. He was definitely my driver of choice. Let's move on to the constructors. And pulling further ahead in the standings, it's Red Bull. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next.